Hi guys, this is Callie. I just got back from our local Sprouts Farmer's Market and I just kind of wanted to do a quick haul video to show you what we got for the week, how we're incorporating a little bit more vegetables into our meal this week, and kind of give you a look at some of our favorite things from Sprouts. So without further ado, here we go. All right, so these are not new today, but I did pick these up the other day. These are coconut rolls. They are um, kind of a dessert. They're gluten-free, dairy-free um, coconut rolls. Really, really good to, if you're in the mood for something to nibble. Um, nine rolls is a, is a serving. I usually only have one or two, so um, you're looking at 140 calories per serving. So it's a good little snack. So those are tasty, and it's the Sprouts brand. One thing to know about Sprouts, they do have their own brand of groceries, and most of them are a little bit cheaper and um, pretty good stuff. Um, if you guys hear a little click clacking in the background, that's the dog. He likes to be part of our videos too. All right, so we got potatoes. Potatoes are like a staple in our house. Um, we ran out, so it was just time to get new ones. Um, bread, just regular bread. I'm sorry my kids um, aren't like super bread eaters. It's what we got. Um, let's see, we also have, um, so my daughter is a big, huge fan of pretzel rolls. <laughs> Don't ask. She likes to dip them in cheese, so we got some pretzel rolls, um, which is funny because our local, our other local grocery store doesn't have any, so that's one good thing about Sprouts. Um, Sprouts tortilla shells, just some flour tortillas for, um, we'll probably do quesadillas tonight. Uh, chicken quesadillas with um, some chicken and red peppers, green peppers, onions, maybe some black beans thrown in there, a little bit of cheese. Um, so that's one way to get our kids to eat a little bit more um, vegetables. Um, okay, so this is a little indulgence. This is our mochi bites. Um, they are mochi bites, sorry. Uh, this is coconut milk. So they're non-dairy and this is chocolate and strawberry and it is the Sprouts brand again. So um, not too bad. I'm going to pop these in the freezer real quick so they don't melt on us. And then I will be back. Um, okay, so we also got some Yum Earth organic candy corn because who can go, uh, who can resist candy corn in October? <laughs> Um, okay, so my daughter went to go pick out chips for um, lunch, and she got these Tara sweet potato chips. We'll see if she actually eats them. Um, that's kind of one of the things I let her pick out her school lunch stuff, so that's one of her favorites. Um, all right, so you cannot go to Sprouts without getting cheese curds. I'm a cheese fanatic. My husband is a cheese curd fanatic since he's been to Wisconsin a couple times for work. So every time I go, I have to get those. Um, let's see, we got some Brussels sprouts. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it this time, but I'm thinking I'm gonna do Brussels sprouts and butternut squash um, with some bacon and kind of a maple syrup for a side dish. Um, not sure what night or what we're gonna do with it. Um, all right, so as a Sprouts partner, um, one of their regular influencers, um, on your phone, you can download the Sprouts app and you can download coupons. Anybody can do that, but as a Sprouts partner, sometimes they do put some free stuff on there for us to try. And this was one of those. It's the Tea Well Matcha Green Tea. Um, I think they're little packets. Yep, just little individual so single serving. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> Green tea. Then we got some little orange tomatoes. These are called Zima tomatoes. Um, we're making, again, we're making our quesadillas, tortillas thing, fajita things tonight. So this is probably gonna go with that. She also wanted to make some smashed guacamole, um, something they talked about at school today. So we'll see how that comes out. And it did call for some tomatoes. All right. so. Um, another one of mommy's indulgences is a little bit of chocolate for the fridge. And these are Heavenly Organic. And these, again, were part of the Sprouts Partner deal. So um, I got to try these 
for free. Um, and they are double dark chocolate and honey patties. And this one is a mint chocolate honey patty. I've had the individual ones and they're incredible. So um, yeah, very excited about those coming. Uh, we got some taco seasoning. That's kind of boring. Um, let's see. I have a little bit here who is sweaty and nasty. Why don't you go because you've got your school shirt up. Um, okay, so another one of the Sprouts Partner things that I'm going to try is the Seaweed Bath Company. It is a firming detox cream with green coffee bean extract. Um, so it's an antioxidant rich green tea extract, hydraulic, ultra hydrating, high. Um, yeah, okay, so we're gonna try it. Um, it's good for your face and I don't know how I'm gonna like it, so I will follow up with you in the post. I'll add some comments later on and let you know how I like some of the stuff that I'm trying. Like protein popcorn. Another one of the Sprouts Partners items. Um, it's a white cheddar popcorn. My husband is a huge cheddar popcorn um, lover. So is my daughter. So we're gonna see how they like it with a little extra protein which if you're eating a plant-based meal, sometimes uh, plant-based diet, sometimes you need a little extra protein. This is serving size about two and a half cups and 150 calories per serving, so it's not too terribly bad. And um, popcorn is the first ingredient, so it's actually got pretty good ingredients, um, not a whole lot of stuff, no GMOs, air pop, gluten-free. So we're gonna give that a try. And for my son, he loves Doritos, so we got him some GMO-free nacho chips. All right, let's see. We have our produce. These are little Marley's Monsters um, produce bags. Can I get some water? You may get some water, yes. Um, so they're actually really nice little bags, and you just tie them up. So all of our fruits and vegetables are in here. We have some peppers for dinner tonight. I'm making guacamole. And some guacamole, as she said. So that is why we have the lime and the avocados. I will tell you the recipe after. Okay. You know what? While I'm putting the vegetables away, why don't you tell them the recipe? And we have some I onions. Saw. Real quick, though. You need at least two avocados. You need to peel the, like, stuff off of it and take the pit out. And then you need some cherry tomatoes, but we're using the orange cherry tomatoes. Um, you also need some limes. And then you put you put the avocado into a bag once it's like cut up and stuff. And then you put the, like, whatever cherry stuff you have. Or it doesn't matter really cherry, cherry tomatoes or something. Whatever you ha have. That's tomatoes, and you put that in the bag, and then you put, you make sure there's no air in that bag, and then you seal it up good, and then you put, then you get another bag and put that bag in that. You put the bag with all the stuff in in that bag, and like make sure there's no air, and then you get something to roll with, and you roll it all up, and like you roll, you crush you it, smash it, you yeah. crush it, and then. It, you eat it. Well, you add the, the lime and then you eat it. What are we going to eat it with? Chips? Yeah. Cool. So I'm excited that she wanted to try making her own guacamole. Um, we also got some apples for a recipe that I'm using. Um, again, these little bags, um, one good thing about Sprouts is if you bring your own bags, um, you get, I think it's five cents off. Uh, for each bag that you use, so you're not using the plastic bags. And for produce bags, these are the Marley's Monsters. They're cotton flannel, so you can rewash them, and just little produce bags. This is the large and, oops, the medium, which we used the medium today and it held all of our vegetables. And then a little small one if you've got little small things. So those are kind of nice. Um, let's see, what else did we get? Okay, so I am going to try, they were telling me about these plant-based protein um, pastas. So there's no flour in the pastas, at least I don't think, no, 
there is no traditional wheat flour. So it's, it's made, this one is an organic green lentil penne, and this is an organic chickpea. Um, so we're gonna try them and see how they taste. Um, the ingredients are like the chick flea, chickpea flour, organic rice flour, tapioca starch, and organic pea protein flour. Very similar to the lentil, except it's got lentil in it and no tapioca. Um, so we're gonna try those. Those are gluten-free and um, GMO, no, uh, yeah, GMO-free. And they're vegan, so um, something interesting. I don't know if the kids are gonna like it or not, but I'm gonna I'm give it a try. Vegan. Um, I'm definitely more open to that stuff than they are. I'm not vegan. No, but that's okay. Um, Annie's, yeah. A staple, mac and cheese. Who doesn't have mac and cheese in their house? All right, let me put that back down. Some carrots. Um, one of our viewers the other day gave us a recommendation of roasted carrots with kind of a maple syrup. So that's something that we're considering. Um, and then... So, what even is butternut? Butternut squash zoodles. So they're, you know, the twisted zoodles, but it's already cut up, so you don't have the whole squash to cut up. Um, and I'm gonna try that again. I think I'm gonna use that with the Brussels sprouts um, and make kind of a sweet maple syrup side dish of some sort. It's fall, so we have to do that kind of stuff, right? All right, one of our favorite things at Sprouts. We can't leave without, without them. What are they? You want to tell them? Honey sticks. Honey sticks. I'm going to eat mine right now. Three for a dollar. We have to get them. Bone broth. I'm going to make some soup this week. Um, I'm going to make a beef stew. So I've got some stew meat. Their meat prices are really good. So we got some um, stew meat, some ground beef. Um, this I'm kind of excited about fresh bacon, not, you know, Hormel bacon or Applegate bacon. bacon or anything, fresh cut bacon. And then I've got chicken uh, thighs. It's just kind of our staple go-to um, meats in the house. Um, something else I'm gonna try. So I, me and her usually drink almond milk. We tried the other day the Ripple uh, dairy-free pea milk. It was actually really good. It tasted very similar to the almond milk. I don't drink the almond milk. Well, you use it with your cereal. Barely. Sometimes. She used to drink it a lot more than she does now. Um, so what, you would say it was very similar to the almond milk as far as taste goes, right? I don't know. It was pretty I close. haven't tasted almond milk in so long. It's been a while, yeah. Um, but the good thing is it's got eight grams of plant-based plant -based protein. So it's definitely higher in protein. There's only 100 calories in an eight ounce serving. So it's um, it's good dairy-free option. And it tasted really good. I was very nervous about the pea protein, but it tasted really good. Um, and then we got some sparkling waters. We got a pineapple mango. That was my choice. Um, I don't know what she's gonna do with this. She really wanted a peppermint flavor. We'll see if that gets drank. Um, I might have to invent some kind of cocktail recipe if she doesn't drink them. Uh, so we will see about that. All right, so our one plastic bag does have our meats in it. Like I said, I already talked about the meats. Um, another thing of bone broth. Um, this one is chicken, the other one is uh, beef. The chicken, I'm not sure if I'm gonna make a squash soup, was kind of one of my ideas. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that. They also had their probiotics on sale. This is Kavita Sparkling Probiotic, um, kind of like a kombucha. Um, are these all Kavitas? I don't know, what, honestly, what the difference is between There's this. There's also 75 cents and lollipops, which are yeah. like the best lollipops. Okay, so this is kefir culture instead of um, kombucha. I honestly don't know what the difference is, but we're gonna try it. Um, coconut, mango, coconut, strawberry, acai, acai, coconut. I that's an acid. It's not acid. <laughs> and a lime mint, mojito, coconut. I love that one. Um, and then I think the last thing we got was beans. Can Stocked up on beans. Um, we can in just a minute. So we have. I'll show beans. you a video so you know how to make it. 
black beans, northern beans, and kidney beans. So we're stocked up for soup making and taco making and whatever else. So that is our haul from Sprouts. Um, maybe we'll do one of these every month and kind of give you a follow-up on some of the some of our new favorites and what we're trying and what recipes we're trying and how about we don't have a lollipop in there um anyways but thanks for watching um please be sure to subscribe and like and comment if you feel also, like it subscribe to princess babu princess babu she has her own channel which we should have a video up soon of her trip to sprouts last week um and she walks you through the actual store and some of her favorite things so Princess Beibu on. The Beibu is spelled B A I B O O. B O O. There you go. Everyone thinks it's Princess Baby. Baby? No. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching and we will talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.